Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome into the first ever flag football broadcast here on SFBN. Alejandro Alvarez with the cans on today. Very honored to be calling the first flag football game here on SFBN. It'll be a good one between Penwood Patriots and the Innerboro Bucks. Should be exciting. Very, very good teams here. Flag football is a little bit different, obviously, ladies and gentlemen, than regular football, if that wasn't already apparent by just the name. A couple different rules here and there, a little bit of a shorter field, hopefully a little bit more scoring. We're doing a little captain introduction right now, waiting for the coin toss, see who gets the ball first, and we will be back as soon as we know that. And we are back here, ladies and gentlemen, at the lovely Kerr Field. Alejandro Alvarez here on the call. Should be a good one, ladies and gentlemen. Penwood, to my knowledge, is one and one so far on the year. Interboro is one and two, having a win 18 to eight over Carroll. Penwood getting that 18 to 12 win over Coatesville. Both teams lost to Avon Grove. About to be underway here with the pseudo kickoff for flag football here. As the lovely Wawa bag flies in the background. First snap will be a handoff with Penwood cutting, darting, and there will be a flag pulled at about the 35 yard line for Penwood. Refs are going to pull it back a lot further, actually. I'm going to say it's at the 29 for Penwood here. 
you can see, ladies and gentlemen, it is seven on seven here for flag football here, adopting most of the NFL flag rules at the high school level. Snap, taking a shot now, just a little out of reach for the receiver. Maya Moore wasn't able to corral that one in. It's going to be third down now, coming up for the Patriots here. See if they can convert. In the gun, handoff, trying to bounce it outside. She does. Flag will be pulled by Interboro, number 24, Esther Mansare. That'll be a first down for the Patriots. Fresh set of downs here to work, try and get that end zone. The run game has been working early here. Of course, you cannot run with the quarterback. However, handoffs are okay. As long as they are behind the quarterback. They're gonna look to pass now. Over the middle, caught across the 50. Flag got pulled at the 49, it appears. Two of them. Penwood is driving right now. Penwood doing a great job right now, just taking control and command of the field. The run game, and now they're mixing in the pass. It's all working out for them. Snap. It'll be another handoff, and that'll be a quick flag pull there for Enderboro. Short gain for the Patriots. Penwood's just about 30 yards from where their destination is. Actually, I apologize, about more like 15 yards. Right, ladies and gentlemen, the end zone here is at the 10 yard line instead of the actual end zone on the field. So, might play a little tricks on your mind there, but they will be scoring once they hit that 10 yard line. It's going to be a pass out flat, and that flag will get ripped at the 30, the 41 yard line by Interboro. Penwood doing a good job, as I mentioned, on this opening drive here. See what they have for us on third down here. Snapped. Pressure. That'll be bobbled and dropped. Pass incomplete there from Amira Thomas. Not able to get that completion. And now we have a turnover. It's fourth down. Penwood has to go for the end zone here. Thomas takes the snap, it's a bit high. Flag on the play, and that'll be bad away. It's going to be a false start on Penwood. That'll back him up. Some extra yards making that touchdown even harder now. It's going to be fourth down once more from about the 49, the 44, actually, I apologize, the 44-yard line. New to the offense here is Ariel Noble. Seeing her first action of the day here. It's quite easy to notice because she has the pink hair, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see if she's able to make an impact today. Let's see if Enderborough can clamp down and get this turnover.
well executed. Not going too far, but also not going out of play either. And that's going to put Interboro at a very interesting start spot. Let's see what Interboro has for us on their opening drive here, able to stop the Patriots as they were creeping towards that end zone, denying them six, however. Let's see what the Bucks have to offer us here. Officials getting the ball ready to be snapped here. The single back set that Interboro is coming out in trips to the right. <laughs> Snap will be bobbled and that'll be a loss of downs. Isabella Lazica will be handling the quarterback duties today for the Bucks. Let's see what they have to offer. Alaska hands it off, darting up the middle for a very short gain is Chelsea McCarthy. It's going to bring up a quick second down here for the Bucks. Still some distance. To, it's third and third down. I apologize. See if they can convert here, or they will be forced to punt. Trips once more to the right. Single back behind, and that'll be a snap malfunction once more. Fourth down coming up here. Some issues snapping it here early for the Bucks. See if they decide to just punt this away. Looks like that is the plan here, getting the punt team out. Let's see what Interboro can do on this punt, see if they can flip the field here. The alleged coffin corner still exists, ladies and gentlemen. While it may not be the back of the end zone on that left side of the field, it still can be hit at that spot. And that'll be bobbled as well. Early snap issues here from Interboro. And referees are just going to give it a do-over. Snap handled, booted. Good kick. Eligible for the return now is Penwood. Busting it out to the sideline, and the flag will get ripped at about the 39-yard line. Penwood in a good spot here. Chance to get some points. See if Penwick can get on the board here. Nobody scored just yet with a good chunk of change left in this first half here. Thomas, the back to her right. Sees the snap. She's looking for the go ball. She's got her. And that's going to be a touchdown for the Penwood Patriots. Just how you drew it up right there if you are the Patriots. Number 14, that'll be Taylor Mims getting the touchdown there. Beautiful route, beautiful catch. Nobody was around her. 
It'll be 6 nothing now for the Patriots. See where they decide to go for the extra point. Looks like they will be going for two. See if Penwood can convert the two-point conversion here. Thomas, gonna dump it out to the flats. Got a lot of room to go, and that'll get ripped. And it will stay six, nothing, in favor of the Patriots. Number 22 for the Bucks, Aya Zabadi, getting it done there. See if Innerboro is able to respond here after the electric one play touchdown from Penwood to open up their second drive of the evening. Clouds are coming in, but they seem to be at bay. No precipitation in the area, according to my producer, for at least the next foreseeable hour. So weather should not be an issue just yet, ladies and gentlemen. Interboro now getting ready to go here. Here we go for the Bucks. It'll be a quick handoff, and that's going to go absolutely nowhere. Ariel Noble able to just rip the flag at about maybe a yard after from where the ball was snapped. It's not what you want on your first down play there if you are the Bucks. Still got three downs to work with, though. See if they can work some magic. Maybe cross that 50-yard line. Lazica ready to receive the snap. Does, she's gonna hit a quick, and that's gonna be picked! Coming the other way! Touchdown, Penwood Patriots house call! Oh my word! What a play for Samaya Knight! My goodness! Let's take a look at this one, folks. I'll make a 12 zip here. You can see right at the whole way, Hawk the flat down, went in front of the pass, and nobody's going to catch her going all the way to the end zone. What a play. What a play for Samaya Knight. Getting herself a little pick six here early. Penwood's going to go for two again here. See if they can make it 14 to nothing. It's going to be a high point, and that will be caught. Taylor Mims scored that opening touchdown and gets the two-point conversion. That will be 14 to nothing. Well, Penwood is certainly stepping on the gas early here. Interboro seems all out of sorts. The run game isn't working. The pass game isn't working. Let's see what they have to offer on this third drive. Yeah, I think that's a massive confidence booster for the Patriots defense there. Coming off the quick turnover. You already know they're going to be looking for another one. Lazica will see what she has to offer now after throwing that pick. Not a lot of downtime on the bench for that offense. They're out here ready to go. Snap, reverse, end around, flipping it again the other way, but the Patriots were all ready for it, and that's going to be a flagpole for a loss. Great job by the Patriots not getting fooled by all the motion in the backfield. And uh, Capel doing a great job there reading that play. Second down now for the Bucks. 
We're going to get something going here on the offensive end. They're going to throw it back. It'll be a double pass. She's looking. She's going to throw it into a sea of coverage. Who came away with it? It was a buck. My goodness. Sheree Butler somehow, through all the traffic, able to corral that pass. It was tipped around, tipped around, and she was still able to find it in that mass of bodies. That'll be a positive gain for Interboro. There, let's see if they can get that first down coming up here. They've been backed up the whole game. Lazica snaps it, hands it off. Trying to take it outside is Interbro, and they're unable to do so. Chelsea McCarthy unable to hit that edge. Penwood doing a great job of contain here early on all of these run plays. Yeah, I think Interboro will find more success in the pass. However, they were they did have a turnover last drive, so comes down to decision making more than anything, and that'll be a bobbled snap. Lost the downs. Interboro's gonna have to make something happen here. Try and pick up that first. Lagsica, she's gonna roll out, she's gonna throw it deep and just over the hands of her teammate. Be fourth down now, punt team coming out for Interboro. Interboro hasn't had a lot to celebrate here early in this half. That'll be three straight drives here. Not a lot to come away with. Meanwhile, Penwood Patriots just seem to get better and better as the game goes on. Let's see how this punt goes. That's going to be a high arcing punt. It'll be corralled. Coming the other way now is Taylor Mims. And that flag will get pulled. Bodies falling everywhere. It's all inner burrow. And that ball will be spotted at the 41. Penwood having a couple one play touchdowns here early. Let's see if they go for it again on that high post route to Mims. It's been money before. See if they dial it up one more time. Now we're ready to go here. Thomas, ready to receive the snap. She has a back to her right. Two receivers on each side. We're gonna hand it off and that'll get pulled at about the 38, 39 yard line. The second down coming in here. Penwood's gonna call a timeout here talk things over as they have 321 before we touch half. So we're gonna be back in just a moment here.
We are fresh now out of the timeout here. Penwood up 14 to nothing over Interboro right now, and Penwood has the ball looking to do a little bit more damage before we hit halftime. Thomas gets the snap. Everyone's going deep. She's got the snap wide open, and she just overthrows it. Into a sea of nothing, thankfully. Trying to get that out of reach of the Interboro players. You don't want to cause a turnover here up 14 nothing. A couple subs coming in here for Penwood. A little personnel change. See what the Patriots can do here. Thomas. And the gun, obviously. Gets a snap. She's going to go over the middle, and that'll go right through the hands. Unfortunate there for Penwood. Unable to corral that was Brianna Freeman. Won't be the only look she gets this game, of course, as Penwood will have another down here. Maybe she'll get another try as she now comes out. Looks like they're just going to elect to punt here. I apologize. No. Thomas ready to get the snap. She does no handoff. She's going to go deep over the middle and incomplete. Damage control right there, ladies and gentlemen. Don't want to take anything too risky. Cause a turnover. Maybe a flip in the field position. And that would be costly for the Patriots. So they're just going to take it casually here on this drive as we are almost at halftime. Punt team now out. Punt is up. And it goes off a player. Goes off a Penwood Patriot. And I'll take a wobble. See what the officials decide to do here. We're going to redo the punt. You can see here, basically a boot to the face. A little shiner here for Ariel Noble. It's football, ladies and gentlemen. It's not an easy sport. Things do happen. They're going to call that ball dead, actually, where the contact was made, it appears, for Interbro. Good field position here for them. See if they can get that end zone call. Just about 139 on the clock here. It'll be a handoff. Nobody able to rip a flag until about a three-yard gain there. That'll be Chelsea McCarthy. Taking it up past the 40. Noble unable to grab that flag, but thankfully she had teammates at that second level, preventing McCarthy from hitting pay dirt. We're at the two minute warning here. Officials making it well known. Glad to know their game clocks are working. Interboro now fakes the handoff, flipping it back, and that'll get blown up. Ball is dropped. Be interesting to see what the officials decide here. They're going to call it incomplete, and that'll be third down here for the Bucks. Not a lot to celebrate in this first half if you are Interboro. Be interesting to see 
what adjustments are made or if they are able to get a first down here on third to go. Isabella Lagasa hasn't had the passing game going just yet. Let's see if she can turn that around right now. Snap. She's got trips to her right. She's going to go back the other way and almost picked again. Dangerous pass there, flipping the field, throwing across her body there. And that'll make it fourth down. Punt team coming out for the Bucks. You can see Laska just getting some instruction from her coach here. It's hard to find anything moving on the offensive side for Interboro, and now Penwood has a chance to make it 21 with that extra point. Of course, it'll be 20 with a score. Punt coming up here. That's up, and that's going to be a good punt. It'll take an unfriendly bounce, however. And now Penwood will go back on offense with under two minutes to go here. Every play... That goes out of bounds, any dead ball, any stoppage in, un, in the last two minutes in either half will result in a stop of the clock. The clock is a running clock otherwise. Penwood has been money on offense, however, especially when they have time. We'll see what happens here. Thomas has been loving the deep ball early. See if she goes back to it. Run game was also doing pretty all right. Multiple options here for the Patriots. Thomas with the back to her right, two receivers on each side. She's going to look to pass here. Doesn't like her first read, goes to her second read. The check down is there, making a move. Flag was pulled at about the 50. Had a chance to really put on the burners there with Samaya Knight. We've seen her score already. You definitely don't want to let her get the ball in her hands. Thomas, once more, two receivers each side. Back to her right hip. It's the tailback. Snap, it'll go to the tailback. Not a lot going there. Fatma Kamara unable to see a lot of daylight on that one. I'll bring up second down here. We're going to say this, the flagpole was before she crossed the 50. They'll spot it at the 50 or at the 49 yard line. I apologize. Thomas. Snap. Caught. Cross the 50 now. Flag will be pulled at about the 43. We're going to call a timeout. Penwood here stops the clock. They have short time here. We'll see if they're able to put anything up towards the end zone. See if they can find anything there before we get to halftime. You got to think this could be going to Samaya Knight. She has some burners on her. Maybe it'll go to Taylor Mims, who also has a score in this game. Wow. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, fresh out of that timeout now. Thomas trips to her right, single receiver to the left. She's gonna throw it over the middle. That's gonna get picked by Interborough. The Bucks coming the other way, and the, oh my goodness, people are falling everywhere. What an interception right there for Interboro. Number six, Ava Gilfan able to hawk that one down. She was ready. You can see her just take a couple steps back here, read the middle of the field. She knows she's going there. Rises up and is able to get that pick. And that. We appear to have an injured player. For Penwood. We will be back shortly here, ladies and gentlemen. I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. The Penwood player is able to get up under their own power. So play will resume. See what Interboro can do here. Go before we hit half. See if they're gonna dial up the big old Hail Mary here. Lagaska. Just gonna throw it over the middle. That'll be caught. Flag ripped at about the 48. Not gonna flip field here. Interboro has timeouts to spare here, and they're gonna take one. Stop the clock here. Six seconds on the scoreboard. Wawa bags are flying around the field. Everybody's flying around the field right now. We'll see if Interboro's able to put up six crucial points here before we hit half. We're out of that timeout now. Interboro trying to capitalize off that turnover in short time. Yeah, I think if they had a little bit more time on their side, they'd be able to not rush things as much as that's going to be a flag. False start on the offense, and that's not going to do them any favors. Normally, there is a runoff here on the false starts. But flag football rules are a little bit different. So Interboro is going to get maybe one or two more chances depending on how quick they're able to get this ball out from the 45. It's going to be a deep shot. It's a wobbler, and it's going to be batted down. Clocks hit triple zeros and that is how the half comes to an end a turnover by Penwood however they're able to scale off that attempt by Interboro there at the end of the half it'll be 14 to 0 at halftime here in favor of the Penwood Patriots over the Interboro Bucks Alejandro Alvarez on the call here we'll be back as soon as halftime is over
fresh out of halftime now here for Penwood versus Interboro for girls flag football, ladies and gentlemen. Interboro is going to open up with the ball here to start the second half. Unable to get any success to end that half. See if things change, and that'll be a flag. And they're going to call a false start on Interboro. Penalties have not helped them out at all. That'll be at least the third false start for Interboro here. That'll back them up a little bit. See if Penwood can put the pressure on now. Maybe get that pseudo sack in the backfield here. It's going to be still first down here. It's, they're backed up a little bit further. See what Lagska can do here. It's going to be a tight bunch formation. Alaska looking, looking, hits the check down read. No flags are pulled. They're going to say she stepped out of bounds. It's going to be second and some change here to go before they get that first. See the progression there from Alaska. Saw the first read wasn't there, saw the second read wasn't there, saw the third read wasn't there, hits the check down for a short gain. Good progressions from the quarterback. It's going to be close set here, two receivers each side. Halfback on the left hip. Alaska is going to get the snap. She's going to go over the middle. That'll be caught up near the 50 for Interboro. Now the offense looks like they're in some sort of rhythm here to open up this second half. It's already looking way better than that first half did. See if they can keep it going. If you're Penwood, you can't let that early success distract you and pull you away from the fundamentals here that need to be taken care of. That'll be a handoff. McCarthy, that'll be a flag pull up at the 46. Interbro now taking the snap. Lasko will throw that low, incomplete. See what Interbro can do here. Looks like they're going to talk it over. Penwood's defense not looking quite up to par from what they were doing in that first half. That could all change very quickly, though, with one. Bad pass, Laska now, she's gonna drop it back to her receiver, she's gonna throw it, and that'll be almost pick dropped. Taylor Mims had it in her sights in, in the bread basket basically and got a little too excited and dropped it. You just see here, she was ready the whole way. Great. Play right there. You can see her move her hips. She th that's a routine pick. Just got a little too excited on that one. It's a great piece of coverage there from Mims, though. Here comes Enderbro. It'll be an end around, another end around. Sweeping the other way is McCarthy. She's got room to run. Pulling on the shirt. No flags pulled. And she'll. Get down to the 27-yard line, flipping the field for Interboro. What a play right there for Interboro. Again, a big chunk of yards here as they look to find pay dirt for the first time today. You can see here that end around the first time didn't work. This time it does, however. And you can see there's a lot of shirt pulling here and not a lot of flag pulling going on here, ladies and gentlemen. 
And McCarthy was able to eat up big chunks of yards right there because of that. New set of downs here for Interboro. See if they keep that run game going. They go back to the pass here. It'll be two backs behind the quarterback. It'll be off to McCarthy again. Nobody's touching her. She'll find the pay dirt. That's a touchdown for Interboro. And Leah McCarthy. Apologize, Chelsea McCarthy. Chelsea McCarthy finding those sidelines to be her best friend right now. As you can see, she just takes it out, hits the sideline. Nobody's catching her. Got to be forcing them either inside or outside, ladies and gentlemen. If you give up that outside edge, at least force them out of bounds. And if you contain that outside edge, you force them in and you have teammates to help. Extra point attempt here. That'll be two if they can get it. That'll be caught, but short. No extra point for the Bucks. It'll be 6 to 13. A little score correction there for you, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, it did say 14. Officials came to my attention and let me know that one of those two points attempts did not count and it went for one. Hence, 13 instead of 14 now. Interboro getting a big score there. Makes it a one score game. And a little bit of hope now for the Bucks. See if Penwood can come out on their opening drive of this half and put up some points. For Penwood, obviously gets the ball. We're gonna have a little, little action going on here. Just making sure everything's good. And here we go. Thomas in the gun. Receivers out to each side. It'll be a handoff. Breaking a couple tackles there. Hitting that sideline was Johnson. See what's going on with Penwood now. Is that's a good way to open up that first or the second half drive here. Patriots now coming out in that same exact look. We'll see what they have to offer. It's going to be a pass into coverage. Just over the heads of an Interboro player. Avoiding the turnover there. That could have flipped the game real quick. It's going to be third down, I believe, coming up here for Penwood. Thomas coming out in that same look, two receivers on each side of her out wide. She'll drop back, looking to pass. She'll hit the check down, and that'll get a quick flag pull on Johnson. And that drive went about nowhere for Penwood now. Let's see if Erneborough can keep that momentum going here. Maybe tie it up, maybe even take the lead. We'll see as Penwood gets the punt team out here. On a third down, actually. Thomas came off the field expecting it to be a punt. Quickly realized that it was third down. So did I. Receivers out. Everyone's going to go right down the middle of the field. That'll be caught with space and a flag pulled. Flipping the field is Thomas for the Patriots. What a pass, what a run. And just like that, Penwood turns what would have been a nothing drive into a great chance to put up some points here. See Thomas, everyone's just running go routes basically. Right over the top. 
What a play. Number 12, Janae Jackson Caulfield. Let's see what Thomas now has to offer after that big completion. Let's see if they hand it off or they go for it again. They're gonna go for it again. Going over the middle. Player fell to the ground. That should be a flag for illegal contact. No one's, there's not gonna be a flag and now we have a stoppage in play for a player who was on the field. She's able to get up. That looks to be Taylor Mims. A little shaken up on that play. She was running that deep post route. You can see it here. She was over, then she gets picked up by that safety. That should be a flag all day, ladies and gentlemen. Not sure what the officials were seeing there. Legal contact, pass interference. You could have called both, honestly. We'll see what Penwood does now. Be a bobbled ball. Fumbles in flag football, ladies and gentlemen, are considered dead the second they touch the ground. That is right, you cannot scoop and score here in flag football. Third down coming up here. Wind's whipping. Clouds are still above. However, the precipitation seems to be staying away. Let's see if Penwood can get some end zone action here. Four receivers out to the right. It's gonna be a little pseudo screen here for Mims and she's not gonna get much. That'll be fourth down for the Patriots here. Flipped that side of the field, however, they weren't able to capitalize off that big third down play last time. Punt team. It's gonna stay off. It looks like they're gonna go for it. Let's see what they can do. And that's gonna be a flag. They're gonna call a false start on Penwood and that will be not good, obviously. You're gonna back him up another five here. Penwood now backed up to about that 45 or the 35 yard line. They're gonna just probably chuck this up. You got Mims, of course. You got Knight as well. Both exceptional playmakers here. Trips quads actually to the right here. She's gonna get it right over the middle. She has Johnson and she's not able to corral the pass. And Leah Johnson. Unable to corral that one, just a little too high over her head. Would have been a touchdown, ladies and gentlemen. You can see, absolutely dust the defender that she's on. Nobody seems to pick her up over the middle to feel a little cover two look. And Johnson maybe got a little too excited there about the wide open tub. That'll be a turnover on downs here. Punt team is out. I apologize, not anymore. Interboro now. We're gonna go back to that money play. That was almost a pick for Mims last time. It's almost picked again at midfield. Maybe go through a couple more plays if you're Interboro before dialing that one up again. Perhaps that was the look they wanted. Run these trick plays out here like the Patriots. I'll bring up second down. Interbro now. Second down here at that 35 yard line. It'll be a little play action here over the head, and that'll draw a flag. 
curious to see what the officials say here. You're gonna call pass interference here on Airboro. That's what it looks like at least. A little legal contact action going on. Pass sailed over the head of an Interboro player and she was shoving the DB in the back. You can't do that. You can see right here, number five for Interboro. Just a little shove in the back. You can't do that, ladies and gentlemen. You cannot do that. Coming up now is third down. I believe Penwood decided to decline that penalty. It's going to be the end around once more. McCarthy, that play doesn't work, and that'll be a flagpole for a loss. And now, Interboro's punt team coming out here after a little throwaway drive there. That pass interference really put the dagger in any hopes of creating something there. And that end around was just to create a little bit better field position for the punter. Penwood has controlled, but it is getting close, ladies and gentlemen. Punt is up. High, soaring punt. It'll be corralled at about the 45, making a move. No flags are pulled yet. We might have a punt return touchdown here, and a flag was pulled. At about the 24 yard line. Signaling she has the flag is an Interboro player here. That'll be Jennifer Churchill McCarthy. Able to prevent that touchdown from happening. You can see here, almost a, a great return in all aspects for Penwood here. Cutting across, cutting back up, massive return. And now Penwood has a chance to get an easy six up on the board and make this a two score game once again. See what Thomas has to dial up here. Thomas now gonna hand it off and that'll get stopped immediately. At the point of handoff pretty much. You can see quick recognition there from Emily Betson for Interboro. Doing a great job recognizing the handoff there. As you can't do a QB keeper here, so the read option is basically a non-factor. Second down coming up here. Thomas will operate with two receivers to each side. Tailback on her right side. She's gonna fake the handoff. She's gonna throw it over the middle of the slant and that'll be picked by Interboro. That was the last thing you wanted to see happen there. That'll be Pam Kacher getting the turnover there. You can see here just a little too high on this slant pass. You can see the play action right here. Fakes out the two rushers. The slant's there. Just stops running is number 11 for the Patriots. That'll be Janae Jackson Colefield. Just stopped running the route there. Ball goes off her fingertips and then into the hands of a lurking buck. Everybody now once again with a chance to tie it or take the lead here on this drive but they are backed up deep in their own territory. Let's see what they have to offer here. It'll be another setup where they're gonna go for that double pass and that'll go sailing through the hands of Sheree Butler. Let's 
See what Interboro can do now on second down here. It'll be a handoff to McCarthy, and that's going nowhere. Short gain for the Bucks here. It'll be third down now. See what the Bucks can dial up here. It's going to have to be a big money play for either a first down or the glorious touchdown. We're going to get some whistles here, and that'll be a false start again for the Bucks. Not doing themselves any favors here. Backing them up once more. Basically at the end zone here, ladies and gentlemen, are the Bucks now. Let's see any turnover could easily just go the other way and into the end zone. You don't want to see that happen, of course, if you are inner borough. No teams are going to put up a big W here. They're going to run that double pass action again. The rusher is there. The ball is up, and that is picked. The ball is picked. Penwood absolutely just ball hawking out here. Lurking everything. What a play there from Penwood. It's the last thing you want to do if you're in a bro, give them short field. Let's take a look at this interception real quick here. They've been going to this double pass a lot, and you got to think by now that Penwood's ready for it just about every single time. A little contact there by the thrower. The referees won't say anything about it. K. Trayer unable to find the open target there. And now Penwood has a very, very good chance of putting up some points here. Got about a little more than 10 yards to go before they hit Pater. We'll see what Thomas does. She just hands it off. And that'll be a quick pull at the line here. Emily Betson once more. See Johnson trying to find those open lanes to run. But Betson being right up on the snap, not allowing for a lot of movement to happen on these outside runs. Thomas, two receivers out to each side. Back on her right side. She'll look, she'll survey, she'll hit the check down of coming across. Now that'll be third down coming up here. Interbro clamping down when they need to. Chelsea McCarthy unable to get much. That'll be third down now coming up. Let's see. Looks like Interbro runs a four-woman front here. Got to make sure there's receivers on each side. Someone's, they got quads out to the right right now for Penwood. Coming across the field, she's open and she's not ready to receive the pass. Incomplete. That was Nyla Johnson unable and not ready for that pass coming across the middle of the field there. Penwood's gonna go for it here, no reason not to. They are in good position here. Just gotta be one big play to the end zone. See what they do here. Thomas looking, surveying, she's gonna throw it over the middle, that'll be caught! Touchdown, Patriots! Who else? Samaya Knight, second one of the day. You can see here, look at Knight putting the burners on. You just see her take off the second she catches that ball. She is something special. Penwood going for two here. See what they do. Thomas looking, surveying, gonna hit the check down across the middle, and that'll be two for their efforts. 21 to six, it's not looking good if you're inner borough. Penwood, it's time to celebrate. Perfect. 
Interboro is going to have to put some scoring up real quick right now to see if they can tie up or at least try and make this a little bit more competitive. <laughs> Touchdown here would do wonders, and then you got to get a defensive stop, and then it's a, all new, a whole new ball game. Interboro now on offense here. Officials waving. We are at the two minute warning here. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, two minutes to go before this game is over and Penwood put up a big score right there. It'll be 20 to six. First pass for Interboro incomplete. Interbro now. Sending everybody deep over the middle, and she's not able to catch that one. Had it right in the bread basket. Was Lena McKenna unable to get that pass to go? Unfortunately for Interbro, that would have been a big, 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 big gain right there if they were able to convert. Instead, comes third down here. Got to get that first if you're Interboro. This game is not over yet. You have timeouts. The clock stops on any dead ball, any flag, anything. Time is on their side. I know they might not have a lot of it, but they do have it on their side. It'll be a quick check down. Flag will be ripped inbounds. Fourth down coming up here. See what Interboro decides to do here. Looks like they're going to go for it. They might as well. Interboro now. A last gasp. Officials are going to blow the whistle here and talk things over. They misplaced the ball, it appears. Line of scrimmage just moves up a couple of yards. It's no biggie. Gotta have it right now if you are the Bucks. Let's see what they do. It'll be a quick run, and that'll get ripped. And that's a turnover on Downs. Penwood forcing the turnover, clamping down when they needed to, and they're gonna come out of here with a nice big old W. One forty here to go. I got a first down apparently, I apologize here. As that'll be picked anyway. That'll be Knight coming the other way. House call number two. Samaya Knight just had to help me out there. Mistaking that it was Penwood's ball and then next play she does it anyway. What a play from Samaya Knight. My goodness. You can see he drops back in coverage, hawks it, almost runs into her own player, and then she just turns on the burners. My goodness, nobody's catching her. Samaya Knight making a name for herself today. Count it for another Todd here for Knight. She's been balling. She's got three of the four touchdowns here today, ladies and gentlemen. To say she was the X-Factor today is an understatement. Going to hit the check down here across, and that'll be good for the extra point. Flag was ripped, but not in time. Crossed the goal line there, and that'll make it 27 to 6. 126 to go. Samaya Knight putting the exclamation point on this game, not only for herself, but for her team. Yeah. 
Emperor's going to get another shot here, of course, after that pick six. Let's see what we got going on. Kevin Garnett once said anything is possible. Be interesting to see what Interboro gets done with a minute 30 to go. It'll be a quick completion here for Interboro. Passing the 30 yard line. going to be a quick timeout here for the coach stopping the clock. He obviously has a lot of faith in his team here. Trying to organize a little touchdown here to end the game for the Bucks. We'll be back as soon as that timeout's over. Fresh out of that timeout now. Interboro trying to put up some more points on the board here. Penwood putting up a big 27, two of them on pick sixes. Gotta think you don't wanna see another one go here. Knight, Samaya Knight for Penwood is ready for just about anything. That pass will be dropped at the 50 yard line for Interboro. And that'll be the end of the game here. Appears the clock was running on most dead plays and not stoppages. That'll do it. The Penwood Patriots taking care of business here today against the Interboro Bucks. Samaya Knight made her presence known just about everywhere on the field, whether it was on defense or offense, she was a game changer. For everyone here at SFBN in the booth, producers, DJs, security, I am Alejandro Alvarez. Have a great rest of your day, ladies and gentlemen.